Woke up at 5 a.m. to go to the airport as we're going to New Zealand with a bunch of my family for one of my cousin's weddings. Here we are with all our luggage and we met my brother and his fiance at the airport. I was super nervous about how Leo was going to be on the plane because the last time we went on the plane, he was not very well behaved. We got through check-in and customs pretty quickly and here we are boarding onto a very chocked bus. And then onto the plane we are, Blake was on the other side of the aisle, lucky boy, and he ended up actually having the aisle to himself. And here's the moment I became mother of the year. I took our spare phone, I downloaded a whole bunch of YouTube clips on there and here's Leo, first time ever wearing headphones quietly watching his phone if you ever fly to new zealand make sure to get a window seat because these views are absolutely stunning as you land we got our luggage and collected our hire car and then we had the most horrible drive back to our airbnb but i'll have to put that in a part two bye day two in new zealand started with a beautiful walk there are just some absolutely stunning views in this place Blake loves it so much, he keeps trying to convince me to move here. As much as I'm loving it, I think I would just miss the warm weather too much. We found this park on our walk with this huge dinosaur slide and we were like, oh yeah, we gotta take Leo here later. We went to Cardrona because this ski field's still open for I think another week. It's a very steep and windy drive up, but totally worth it in the end. Look at all these sheep. We had something quick to eat, played in the snow for a bit. I taught Leo how to throw snowballs at his dad. We enjoyed the view, took some lovely pictures and then when it started raining, we ran. We then went to the park that we saw earlier, but then it started raining pretty heavy. So we headed back home and had a nice chilled afternoon. Then we had like a pre-wedding icebreaker event to go to. Had a nice meal and some drinks and we got home just in time to see my brother and his wife who just got in. This is the whole reason why we came to New Zealand in the first place today is the wedding day. Why my cousin decided to get married in Wanaka, New Zealand, we have absolutely no idea. The place was absolutely gorgeous. It did start to rain but just as the ceremony started it actually stopped so thank goodness for that. You would think with an international wedding it may not be a very big one but there ended up being 110 people there which I was so shocked about. It was such a beautiful ceremony. I'm such an emotional wreck so I pretty much cried all my makeup off. We took some pictures for the guest book then sat down at our table and had this huge delicious feast. Seriously there was so much food. And that's all I filmed because I was just focusing on enjoying the night. Now we're in Queenstown for four nights so we'll let you know what we do next. Bye! Leo and I have been on and off sick for pretty much this entire New Zealand trip. As you can see, Leo's feeling a lot better, but I am not. But I refuse to let it hold me back today because we had a few activities planned that I did not want to miss out on. The view from our Airbnb in Queenstown is absolutely amazing. So in the morning, we headed down to the lake because we had booked this hydro attack thing. Now, if you haven't heard of hydro attack, I will try and explain it the best I can. It's basically a thrill ride, like an aquatic roller coaster. You're basically inside kind of like a shark and it goes like underwater and then it jumps up and it's kind of hard to explain, but I'll just show you what we did. So Blake and I were able to do it at the same time just in different sharks. So here we are getting in and heading off into the lake. So you are completely enclosed in this shark so you can't feel any of the water at all. It's actually quite hot in there and gets a bit stuffy. So you go out for about 15 minutes but every five minutes they take the lid off so you can breathe. Here's a little snippet from me and then one from Blake. So yeah you go underwater. They even go sideways. At the end I could see the bottom of the lake which was really cool. Blake thought he was hilarious acting like a bird when it came up out of the water. Anyway it was very cool. So if you do go to Queenstown I highly recommend recommend that. We both got like seven minute videos of each of us doing it too, which was cool. We then went back home so I could rest for a little bit and then back out again because we had booked the ice bar. Now this was also really cool. They have a, a couple of these in Queenstown, I believe, but we went to Queenstown ice bar. Pretty self-explanatory, I think. It is a bar made of ice. <laughs> it's minus 10 degrees. They give you a glove and a jacket, but it is still freezing. The sculptures and everything is just so beautiful, all handmade. You drink cocktails out of these ice cups. Now we had pre-booked tickets that came with two cocktails each. Obviously I'm not feeling great, so I was not drinking any alcohol. So Blake had to take one for the team and he ended up having three out of the four cocktails to himself. It was also a really cool experience and I would highly recommend that as well. You get to throw your ice cups into a bin at the end too. Finish the day off with a quick trip to the casino and then a Japanese tapas place for dinner, which was really nice and I wish I could have enjoyed it more, but I'm still feeling sick. So now now we're going home for the rest of the night. Bye. I'm sure you guys are sick of these New Zealand vlogs by now, but don't worry because today was pretty much our last day. We wanted to go to Milford Sounds until we realized it was nearly a four hour drive. So no thank you. We decided on the gondola and the luge instead. Here we are getting into the gondola. It takes you up the mountain. The views are absolutely breathtaking on the way up. Leo was having so much fun. Kept saying how he was in the sky. Leo in the sky. It does go up pretty high. So I don't recommend this if you have a fear of heights, but if not, like look at this view. It's just worth it. Oh, and we saw like this random goat as well. <laughs> then you go on a little walk to go to this chairlift, which takes you up to the luge. So we bought the tickets that had the luge rides included. You can decide later if you want to take the ride, but it's a lot cheaper if you do it earlier. <laughs> Here's Leo in his little helmet. He's so cute. Kids do have to be a certain height and age to do everything. And Leo was above that mark. So that was great. Here we are on the chairlift. It's Leo's first time on the chairlift. He was not afraid at all of anything. The heights, nothing. I didn't get any footage because we were just having so much fun. Leo absolutely loved it. He went once with Blake, once with me. Then we had a quick lunch with this beautiful view and that's pretty much all we did because then we just packed to get ready to go home tomorrow.